All right, you clicked on this link because you want to know how to turn two buckets of PVC pipe, zip tie, and a container into a um, self-containing, a self-contained watering system. And I'm going to show you how I did mine. Uh, I got it from a lot of other people off YouTube, so it's not a unique situation to me. You can see here I have hydrangeas, tomatoes, basil, some tomatoes and more tomatoes, and they're doing great. They're about five weeks old. Uh, I water them a couple times a week, but the nice thing is everything is self-contained and I don't have to worry about uh, watering the surrounding dirt and everything leaching out. And any fertilizers and chemicals that I put in there, organic, um, stay within the bucket, which is really nice. So let me show you how this is done. It takes about five minutes, a little bit longer with explanation probably, but uh, I won't do a lot of talking and you can just kind of follow along with me. Uh, but the first thing we do is we want to make some holes for the uh, PVC pipe to anchor onto on the outside bucket. So we're going to take a clear section here and near the top we'll just drill two holes. One and two. Okay. On the bottom of the bucket here we're going to uh, punch a hole. And this hole that we're going to punch is going to be for the PVC pipe. Okay. So now we have a hole for the PVC pipe. Okay, so that fits nicely. And that, once uh, once we get that up here, we'll just put a couple of zip ties in and anchor it so it doesn't sway back and forth. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is punch some holes in the bottom so water can drain. And also, oh, let's, uh, before we punch holes in the bottom of this, let's get a uh, spill out hole here, an overflow hole. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna just put the inside bucket around the outside bucket, or inside the outside bucket, and uh, look through, just try to find, where is the, here we go. Here, so you can see it's right here, and we're just gonna drill in, and we got it. So what that will do is any water that spills that comes out to, to that level will come out. It'll, you know, fall out of the bucket. This being the outside bucket, we are now done with the outside bucket. We're going to work exclusively on the inside bucket right now. We'll switch out our drill bit to a larger one. This whole project costs less than seven dollars. It's three dollars and twenty cents for the bucket. Probably ten cents for the zip ties. Twenty-five cents for the PVC pipe. Okay, now that you've got a bunch of holes here, you need to punch out another big hole in the middle so this can slide in. So we'll take a marker and just draw a very crude circle. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. And the knife get as close as you can if you're gonna error out error on the inside you can always shave shave outwards later okay Alright, our 
water bucket goes in really nicely. So in order for the water to pass through the bucket here, we gotta make holes in it. So that's what I will do now. say we're about done with this so now we have holes in it this is what it looks like when you take it out so any water that you fill in there will leak through and fill up and wick all the way up to the top uh, excess water over here spills out through this little hole that's down there on the side so this lines up like this you put in your PVC pipe Oh, you might want to put a little angle on it so uh, you know water gets down in there. Thread this through. It's going to be tight, and that's all right. Don't worry about it if it's tight. So uh, the other thing I forgot to mention is uh, on the bottom here, these holes, if you drill them a quarter inch or... If you drill them the same size as the um, irrigation drip tubing, then you can just put that in there and filter it off to the side. It'll drain out wherever you want it to. So if you want it to go 10 feet away from where the pot is, the bucket, go ahead and do that. Now, to uh, get this tube to bend like this, like I did here, I just held it over the stove for a couple minutes, actually for about, yeah, for about a minute and a half. And when it got soft, I bent it. It bent really easy, and then when it was, when it was at the right angle, I put it in, under cold water. So you can do the same thing and then just chop it off, okay? This is what it looks like when it's full of dirt and plant. And you go to fill it up and it's topped. So you can see the water comes out over there. Uh, but that means it's already full, filled to this much, and that, that container full of dirt down there is fully saturated in water. And everything that's going to come up should come up nicely and evenly. It'll fill the roots out. Nice thing about this is, as the roots make their way down to the bottom, they're going to find these little tiny holes. And when they do, they'll go through the holes, and then they'll be able to drink the water exclusively. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. This guy's already made it through the bottom. <clears throat> See that? So that's ideally what you'd like to achieve if you can. Thank you everybody for watching and if you have any comments, please go ahead and leave them. Uh, if you try this system, you're gonna be you're going to be very happy. I live in California, and so this is great. We've got a drought this year in the last three or four years. So doing it this way is really nice because it um, allows me to conserve on water and move the plants around to various parts of the yard so they can get, achieve maximum sunlight. Um, okay, guys. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Talk to you later.